Would you please stand for a pledge to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a national anthem performed by Mr. Gregory Daigle, Nicanor Hushdog, Grace Morgan, and Jordan. My great honor and privilege, on behalf of my co-director Bill Glenn, myself, the community evening school staff, the high school administrative team, the superintendent's office, and the school committee, to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the Whitman Hanson Community Evening Schools Class of 2023. This evening ceremony not only celebrates the countless hours of hard work of our graduates, but the dedication of those who have supported the students throughout their journey. Everyone sitting in this auditorium has contributed in each student's success. Give yourself a well-deserved round of applause. <laughs> I now invite Superintendent Mr. Jeff Simonak to the podium to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Chisma. Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome, Mr. Glenn, Mr. Chisma, Dr. Jones, school committee members, parents, friends, and soon to be graduates of the Whitman Hanson Community Evening School. I am so happy to be here with you tonight. It gives me great joy to see these students, members of the CES class of 2023, sitting on this stage and finishing what they started some 12 to 13 years ago. Most people don't know that I began my career teaching students who didn't fit the traditional school environment. My first job in education was in Abington in a classroom with 12 freshmen who absolutely, positively didn't want to be there. They pushed me, it was hard, it was draining, and honestly, Sometimes, many times, they drove me nuts. However, at the end of the year, I knew my purpose as an educator was to find alternative ways for students to learn, grow, and find success. I've been involved in alternative pathways for students to receive a diploma ever since. I give you that background because graduates, I get it. I get your struggles. I know and understand that many things in school were difficult for you. I know you had to work to be here. I know things didn't go as planned, and getting your diploma has not been easy. 
This is why I take great joy in being with you here tonight, and why I'm so proud for what you've accomplished. Graduates, take a look into the crowd. Find your people and look at them. They see you. They see your struggles, and tonight, they see your accomplishment. I guarantee they share that pride that I'm feeling right now. I frequently check in on the progress of students in CES, especially in the springtime. Right, Mr. Glenn? Yeah. Mr. Glenn always shares a little chuckle, he would say. Yep, kids working hard. Yep, we're almost there. Keeping my fingers crossed. Guess what, graduates? You did it. You found a way to it. And you have the right to sit on the stage tonight. For that, you have earned tremendous respect. As you leave tonight, I urge you to take what you've learned from school and your many life experiences and begin to live your life to the fullest. Be the best human you can be. And I have two asks. Thank a teacher tonight. Your words are more meaningful than you know. And then take a moment. Get a picture with those who are here tonight and who have supported you. Don't roll your eyes. They have earned your time. And I ask you to be present in that moment. Congratulations, graduates, and good luck. Thank you, Mr. Simonet. Our keynote speaker is someone very special to all of this year's graduates. He has been part of many of the graduates' entire high school experience, beginning as their ninth grade English teacher. He is the person that many of them turn to in both happy and difficult times. Please welcome Whitman Hansen Community Indian School Co-Director, Mr. William Glenn, to share his thoughts with the class of 2023. To be carried away. Uh, good evening uh, and welcome to family, and friends, uh, companions, and cousins, administrators, and aviators, politicians, and public servants, and most especially to the just about to graduate uh, graduates of the Community Evening School in the class of 2023. One person done talking and just one to go. This one. Right. Uh, I promise I'll keep it short. There are only, I think, 15 pages here. The font is huge. I am blind. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, not about the blind part. Uh, honestly, this will be quick, uh, and I don't think a complete waste of your time. Graduation and commencement, the ending of one part of your lives and the beginning of another. A real watershed moment, if you will. So if I could, uh, in my own way, just offer a little bit of not advice, right? Uh, no way. Uh, instead, let's call it helpful commentary on, on what comes next. You're all, you're all very smart and capable, but uh, let's be honest here, I've, I've been smart and capable longer. Right? Uh, this will be worth your while. Five things, I have five, five things, right? Five ways of living that not only make uh, the, the huge crushing weight of life bearable, but uh, actually can make it exciting, uh, interesting, and valuable beyond measure. Five things. One, know when to move on. Uh, the Jizza's lyrics constantly remind us to keep it moving, right? And honestly, the Jizza knows. Uh, but I think Mr. Rogers, ask your grandparents about him, not that Mr. Rogers, the other one, uh, he said it best when he said that you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run, right? That man knows there were times to move on. Right? Don't dwell on past mistakes. Don't stay stuck in the middle of mistakes. Move on, get up, and go. You're not trapped here. You don't need to stay here, wherever here is now or in the future. Just go. Life can be hard enough uh, as it is. Get up and go when you have to. Don't chase the loss. Uh, the earth is an amazing and wonderful place. Go and experience it. There are worlds beyond the paved streets of Hanson and the 
and, and the forest paths of Whitman, uh, the change that, that comes with moving on can transform your very lives. I'm not just talking about physical or geographic moving on, right? Mental, emotional, and spiritual changes are just as, if not more so, important. Learn to cut it loose and move on when you need to. That's one. Two, embrace happiness. I, I don't mean, uh, don't worry, be happy, right? Uh, life is always all butterflies and fun. Life is hard. You may believe me on this. Uh, there will be hard moments. There will be hard days, hard weeks, hard months, hard years. I promise you that this is the reality of our world. There will also be moments, days, weeks, months, and here it is, even years of genuine happiness, joy, and positivity in your lives. Treasure, cultivate, recognize, and do the real work needed to extend those times of happiness. When there is a joyful moment, embrace the joy. It's okay. You, you, you don't have to just wallow in negativity and sadness and the grim awfulness of the world. You can also wallow in adventure, right? Wallow in the pleasures, the excitement, and the joyfulness of the world. Doing so will provide a firm keel of balance and support you during times of tribulation and lamentation. Embrace happiness. Three. I got these threes this way. I think it's a fact. Uh, speak up. If you find yourself in one of those moments where you think, gosh, somebody should really say something. You, you are somebody who should say something. Uh, say something. If you're at work uh, and something weird is happening, well, fling up that power fist and say something. It, it ask, ask questions. Don't be one of these ridiculous people that, that talk about what someone should have said after the fact. Speak up. Use, use the power of your voice and your personhood. And, well, use your power to speak up in the voting booth as well. Why not, right? Mr. Glenn, is this about to be a talk about participatory democracy in our republic? Yes. Yes, it is. Right? Uh, if you believe in some cause or some person or something, some goal that matters to you, go out there and say something and vote. Those people who tell you it doesn't matter are fools. Democracy is hard. Being engaged and active is hard. Speaking up is hard, but it is worth doing. Being silent is easy, and it is a trap. Speak up. Four. Almost at four. Take risks. Take chances. Try something new. Everything doesn't have to stay the same day in and day out. Do something different. Taking risks is scary. I get it. I am terrified right now. Uh, but it's essential to living a fulfilling, interesting, and exciting life. If you're a person that always waits for someone else to do the initiating and make the first moves in work, in friendship, in family, in life, try something different. How about you go first. Taking risks will broaden and deepen your everyday experiences. If you are interested in a career, try it out. If it's not for you, remember, you could always move on. That was number one. Start a business. Make a new friendship. Heck, eat tuna fish with mustard. So gross. gross. But take, take the risks. Sometimes it will work out. Sometimes it will fail. And sometimes it will be a disaster. And sometimes it will be glorious beyond your wildest expectations. Take the risks. Five. Last one. Celebrate and congratulate other people's successes. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, honor the successes and accomplishments of your family, your friends, your co-workers, neighbors, and even, even those folks you run into in line at the airport, terrible place, the bank, or the supermarket, right? These simple acts of kindness and congratulations markedly improve the lives of others. It costs you nothing, makes people feel great, and puts legit goodness out into the world. Let people know when they do something good, true, and beautiful. Say the words, congratulations, that is awesome, you're amazing, that is fantastic, seriously, well done. You did it! Slave queen! Right? You aren't lessening yourself when you say these words, right? You are literally cultivating a world of fraternity and positivity. Celebrate and congratulate others' successes. So, 
move on, embrace happiness, speak up, take risks, and celebrate and congratulate other people's successes. Congratulations. Seriously. I look forward to hearing from you all in, in the future, somewhere down the road. I think you'll, uh, you all know where to find me. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Glenn. Principal Dr. Jones, would you please join me at the podium for the presentation of diplomas to the Blue Hanson Community Union School, Class of 2023. It is my honor to announce the names of the graduates as they receive their diplomas tonight. It is the tradition of the Whitman Hanson Community Union School for each student to choose someone to present them with their diploma. If you are presenting a diploma to a graduate this evening and you are not already on the stage, please join me on the stage to my right. When the student's name is announced, you will join them at center stage and present them with their diploma. You will then proceed back in the same direction for a special photograph to commemorate this important uh, Guinevere and Ambrose, diploma presented by boyfriend Jack Spence. Acevedo, diploma presented by Mom Renata Acevedo. Aiden Vincent Ernier, diploma presented by Dad Justin Ernier. Callie Marie Bonner, diploma presented by Miss Baxter. Juliana Marie Colby, diploma presented by Mr. Gugans. Rafael Costa de Silva, diploma presented by Mom 
Nubia Costa. James Bernard Gillen. Diploma presented by Mr. Glenn. Dolly Marie Kelch, diploma presented by Mom Dawn Kelch. Brooke Nancy Presenter. The following is by Mom Mary Fitzgerald. Jocelyn Rodriguez, diploma presented by Mrs. Dempsey. Pedro Enrique Gomez Sampaio, diploma presented by Mom Anubia Gomez. Jen Scafano, diploma presented by Beyonce Jao Nantes. Wesley Silva Marquez, diploma presented by
Haik Ibarel Souza. Diploma presented by Dad Bruno Souza. Dr. Jones, please join me for this tassel ceremony. Please stand. I've got three sentences and a word for you, so not much longer. Community Evening School Class of 2023. It's an honor to exercise the responsibility vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Please move your tassels from right to left. I now pronounce you graduates of Whitman Hanson Regional High School. Congratulations.